I'm sorry, oh. it was my fault. No, I mean, it was mine. I was I was not thinking. I was distracted. Did I dent your car? No, 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 it's it's all right. No, I could have it fixed. No, no, it was my fault. I was talking on the phone. Uh, I'm so sorry. Your car looks new. Yeah, yeah, I just got it, actually. Oh, uh, congratulations. Well, thanks, but it's actually an official car. It doesn't matter. It's still beautiful. Okay. Uh, were you going in here? Uh-huh. I mean, we're going together. Oh, okay, sure. By the way, my name is Beatrice. People call me Vivi. Oh, nice to meet you. Same my here. name is Nicole, and people call me Nikki. All right, nice yeah. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Right, let me just grab my purse. Okay, all right, that's all right. fine. I'm so sorry. All right, all right. Family's favorite, my husband loves this. You're married? Yes, I am. Yeah. Wow. Are you? Separated. It's mm. a long story. I really understand. You know, I actually feel like I'm headed that way too. Headed where? Why? Separation, I mean. My dear, it's a long story. Marriage is tough, you know. Mm. I have to rush. I mean, oh. <laughs> okay. Um. So, can we do this some other time? Sure, why not? Um, you know what, I'll take your number and I'll call you one of these days. Alright, I'll just give you this. I'll take yours too. Okay, you just... Yeah. Oh, that's fine. Okay. I'll dial my number. Okay, that's me. Okay, cool. Bye. I'll just say good. Bye bye. Yeah. It's a pleasure meeting you. Same here. Take care. You take care. And I'll keep in touch. Please let's keep in touch, okay? No problem. Bye. to explain a few things. And how do you intend to explain the fact that you're married and you never thought it necessary to tell me? You just didn't tell me the truth, did you, Pete? Look, I know this game. I've played it too, remember? Nicole, please. Do you know what? I don't really want to hear whatever you have to say. I'm not interested. I found a new life in you A brand new day What is life without love? Oh, love is all we have 
好的，我这么大的狗。David, what are you doing in my house? What's up, darling, baby? That is no answer to my question. Come on, baby. I mean, is that a way to welcome an old friend? David, you really did not know your place. And you haven't told me why you're here. I'm sorry, B. I... I need to see you. And you couldn't have called me on my phone? You'd rather prefer to barge into my home, my privacy, without an invitation? Come on, baby. I wasn't sure you'd take my calls. Can I at least sit down? Very funny. Very funny, David. Now I'm going to ask you again. Why are you here? Um, now he's, um, how is it? He's very fine, thank you. And I would not want him to come back from work and meet you here. Hey, come on, relax, baby, okay? I happen to know he's still at work. For crying out loud, David, why are you here? What have you come for? Come on, baby. Man. Is she that bad? Please. <laughs> oh. You know what? I'm sorry. I just have a lot on my mind right now. I didn't know you were back in town. Yeah, I came in a few days ago actually. So, how's your service here? I was phone and taxi at the same time. Anyway, it's over now. It's time for one to settle down. Well, which is why I came to see you. So, what is it? I, I don't know how to go about this, but... Um, I need you, B. No way. Do all you did to me in the past, and you still have the infantry and the guards to come into my home and tell me that you need me? Get out! Come on, baby. Come on, please. I'm sorry. Okay? You and I know it's not entirely my fault. I was, I was just. You were mean and very stupid. You know you've hurt me one too many times, and I can't be hurt again. So please, out. Please. You just give me a minute to explain myself. David, I said leave my home. I don't want my husband to come back and see you here. Leave! Okay. Can I call you, please? Maybe commit some time, please. Maybe. But for now, leave. Go. By the way, you Are you aware that this position is temporary? I am very much aware, ma'am. I'm 
it's okay with you. It's very, very okay with me now. Well, in that case, the job is yours. Thank you very much, ma'am. Thank you so, so much. There's really no need to thank me. Your job is simple. You will help me gather materials for the magazine and you'll report directly to me. Okay? Yes, ma'am. You can use one of the desks in the general office. Thank you, ma'am. I am so, so very grateful. Uh, one more thing, then. Can you please not call me ma'am? You can address me by my name, editor or whatever, but certainly not ma'am, okay? Yes ma'am, um, editor. <laughs> whatever. Um, I'm going out soon, but I'd like to show you one or two things before I leave, alright? Okay? It's alright ma'am. I know, BB. I know. What I'm trying to say here is that it's just trying to see my side of things, BB. I mean, I need you. Look, I can't. Okay? Well, uh, it doesn't have to find out. Uh, I can't. I, d I don't want to do this. Please don't ask me to. Bibi, please. Please. I know how you feel about it, but what about my husband? I'm sorry, Bibi. But the truth is, without you, everything... I mean, everything will fall apart. Oh, please stop that. Don't do that. Don't play on my emotions, please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But the truth is... Without you, I... Ugh. Oh, please stop. Even if I want to do this, how can I make it work? I mean, how could we make it work? How do you mean, how can we make it work? So you want me to sleep behind his back to see you, you know? No, 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 you don't have to do that, baby. You don't. So you're asking me to lie to a man I love and respect so much? Hey, come on, baby. You don't have to do that either. I mean, we could meet when it's at work or out. Besides, you will know your whereabouts. Trust me. Dave, I see that you have all this figured out. Yeah, I too. Bibi, you know how important you are to me. Oh, please, cut off the flat ones. You know what? Um, I'll try my best, okay? Thanks, Bibi. I owe you a lot, really. What do you... Well, I'm not promising you anything. I said I'll try my best. I'll see what I can do. Um, Neymar, I have to, to get off the phone now. I have a meeting with a friend. All right, I guess I'll talk to you later, okay? into my own office. Mm -hmm. So I don't have to work from here anymore. I know that. Still. Pete. It's hard for me to. But we have to do the right thing. What is the right thing, Nicole? I haven't asked you to do anything right or wrong. All I ask is that we spend time together. And what will happen when we keep spending more and more time together? Oh, so now it's wrong for us to spend time together? Is that what you're saying? You're out of my reach, Pete. Please stop saying that. What is the truth? You still haven't shown me the harm in us spending time together. I'm listening. Look, let's not do this to ourselves. Let's not start anything that's obviously headed nowhere. We can't always see where the paths we choose will lead us to, you know that. Pete, this path is headed nowhere. It's obvious. Maybe it looks that way to you now. But something might change. Who knows? And if it doesn't? Take the risk, Nicole. Life is all about risks. See what develops.
Stop doing it. Had a long day. It wasn't funny. You can't imagine what happened today, man. So, hey, please. Uh, what okay. is it? Where have you been? I, I told you I had an appointment with a potential sponsor. What kind of appointment? It took the whole day. Please, please, please. Please, Juliet, please. Okay, I'm tired. I'm tired. I need to rest. Okay? I have neither the strength nor the inclination to argue with you. David! Look, look. If you're going to start nagging right now, I might as well just go out again. I'm nagging, right? I'm nagging. Just because I asked for you being all day, I'm nagging. Go on, I've just been out for a few hours, Juliet. How does that translate to you all day? Why are you even staying in the hotel? Which am I supposed to address right now? Where I've been in a couple of hours or why we are still at the hotel? You promised we were going to move back to your parents' house. If I go over to my parents' house, Juliet, you have to go home too. Why can't I go with you to your parents' house? Because you can't! Why not? God, we've been through this before, Juliet. Why are we doing it again? Just tell me why I can't go with you to your parents' house. Because, because you're here to tell me I'm supposed to explain you in my house to my parents! Well, Dave, you look, promised look, 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 to. Look, 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 Juliet. Since one can have a moment of rest with you around, I might as well just go out again. Oh, where are you going again? You just only go here. It's my parents' house. Without you. God, it's all the all these two. Interesting of them all. So what's going on? Well, to cut a long story short, I was in a stormy relationship with this guy until we discovered it was too complicated to carry on. And now he's back and wants us to continue from where we stopped. Whoa. That's a tricky one. So what do you want? Honestly, without the complications, mm -hmm. I would snap him up so fast. I thought you were separated. What about your husband? Yeah, I'm separated. My lawyer friend is actually working on my divorce. And even so, he's still not available to you? It's not. Which is a story I'm not going to go into right now. <sighs> well, it's really hard when you want something so badly and you find that fate has played a trick on you. <laughs> you can say that again. But still, I'm determined to do the right thing. And I assume that writing is staying away from him? Well, it's hard to admit. Yet the other option is worse. Nicole, I understand it's difficult. And I'm going to advise you as a friend. If this is too complicated for you to handle, I think you should just let it be. I think so. I hope so. That's what we have to do. Okay. Okay, uh, listen, uh, something just came about. I'll call you back. Evans! <laughs> How are you? Thank you, thank you, sir. It's good to see you. Quite a surprise. <laughs> sit down, sit down, sit down. Ah! Uh, when did you get into the country? I came into the country last night then came into town today. Well, it's good to see you. How was your trip? My trip was fine. Thank you. That's good. That's good. Have you been to the house yet? Yes, I did, but no one was there. No one? Yes. That's surprising. Anyway, you're welcome all the same. Thank you, Sue. How is business going? Um, what can I say? Business is good. We're not complaining. We thank God for business. How long are you staying? I'm not too sure yet. Okay. Listen, we hadn't the slightest idea you were coming home. I hope everything is alright. Everything is fine. It's just that I 
wanted to surprise you, that's all. <laughs> you succeeded. I'm indeed surprised, but pleasantly so am I. Hi, uh, Junior. I hope you're keeping an eye on him. Of course, yes. And he's doing surprisingly well. <laughs> that's good to hear. You know, I had my doubts about his traveling outside the country. Well, you have nothing to worry about. He's doing well and keeping out of trouble. Oh, thank goodness for that. Listen, uh, now that you're here, why don't we just go to the house for some refreshments? I'm sure B would be back by now. Okay. okay. That would be nice. Okay. Found out where your husband was staying. Everything else was easy. Really? Mm-hmm. What happened? You know I had already prepared the divorce papers before we left. Uh -huh. So I told him we were going to go to court if we couldn't settle amicably. And go. He signed the papers. You're joking. <laughs> You're joking. <laughs> I don't trust anyone. He wouldn't want to be dragged around in court. <laughs> Especially after I told him that for making you believe he was dead for five years and abandoning you, he was definitely going to lose. Oh, wow. So did he have a lawyer present? Huh? You bet. I wasn't going to risk him waking up one morning to say, I didn't know when I signed those papers. <laughs> or that he signed them on that dress. That's my lawyer <laughs> friend talking. <laughs> oh, God. You mean I'm finally free of Edmund? Mm. After all this year? Go. He wants to remain dead, as long as you're concerned. God, you don't say. <laughs> oh. Girl, I'm tired, dirty, I know. and hungry. I, know. I need a bath, mm -hmm. food, and good rest in that order. You will have much more than <laughs> Girlfriend, I definitely need you more. Thank you. Hey, what are friends for? You know what? We need to celebrate my freedom. So, are you buying me a bottle of champagne? How about crystal champagne? Oh, yeah! I'm going to pop one tonight about <laughs> to celebrate my freedom! Oh, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> oh, Evans, come in, come in, come in. Just sit down and feel at home. Let me, um, let me go and find out if he's Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Baby! She's still not back. I hope she's fine. I'm sure she's fine. It's just that it's surprising. I'm sure she'd have an explanation to make. Sure. Why don't we share a drink nice. while we wait for her to come back for the main refreshment? That would be nice. Huh? That would be nice. Okay. Nice. Some red wine? Exactly.
later. Uh, the usual place name. Okay. Alright. Okay, you know what? I have to I have to go now, okay? I'll talk to you much later. Okay, see you soon then. Alright, bye. that on the phone? The phone? Oh, okay. No one, actually. My friend. Which one is it now? No one or a friend? Come on, Piet. It's my friend, someone you don't know. I see. What happened last night? Oh, my God. But you, you just see? Immediately you said last night I had this terrible headache in my head because my last night was horrible. It was it was a disaster. It's something I don't want to even think about. God, I had a flat tire last night. Can you imagine? You had a flat tire? Yes. You could have called me. Oh, Pete, why don't you just be patient? Wait for me to finish up my okay, story. Okay, okay, okay. I had a flat tire. I brought on my phone to call you. All of a sudden, my phone went dead, dead just like that. Your phone went dead? Seriously, it went flat, dead. Battery, flat. How convenient. No, baby, it wasn't convenient at all. Because I was on that lonely road, you know, all by myself, cold. God knows what would have happened to me. Will you step myself and you call that confident? I don't think so. Well, a good Samaritan came along and um, helped me out, change my tires and, you know. I see. So what are you doing today? Um, nothing much. I'll just stick around the house, do some house chores, make sure the flowers are trimmed and, you know, just meeting every day. That's all. I see. I should just fix your breakfast before you go to work. Okay? Yeah. We're supposed to meet at the usual place. Dave, we can't meet anymore. Why not? Because I was already waiting at the restaurant for you. Could you stop whining and listen? My husband is coming suspicious. What? What happened? I don't know. He started asking a lot of questions lately. Did you have let anything sleep? Am I stupid? I told you I'm not going to jeopardize my marriage because of you. So, what happens now? I don't know. Maybe we should just forget about the whole thing. Hey, hey come on, baby. Please. I, c I can't afford to lose you now after all this while. Please. Please. I told you, no flattering. Don't tell me you're backing out now. Well, are you your parents? No, no, not at all. Well, can we meet there? Are you nuts? You won't meet me too in a hotel. Hey, hey, come on, relax, BB. Besides, I have a guest. No one will notice you there. No way. I just stopped committing a private place, BB. Where could be more private than my hotel room? I said no way. Then come up with something then. Hey, look, Dave. Don't you go starting up on me. I owe you nothing, remember? Look, I'm sorry. It's just that I thought... I, I thought my hotel room is an ideal place for us to meet since we can't be seen in public together. No. We just... Let's come up with something else, okay? I thought... I thought I told you to drop those materials at home. Okay, you already did. Okay. No, I'm not at home at, at the moment. What? Uh, my wife is not at home. Um, okay. Never mind. Send them back to the office. I'll see you when I get back to the office. Okay? All right.
How have you been doing? Well, I've been fine. Just been missing you like a whole lot. It's been the same with me. It's been the same for you then. Why have you abandoned me for so long now? Not even keeping in contact, not telephone calls, not nothing. You know how it is with these and that. I've been very busy. You're right with these and that. So much that you even forgot your very first love, innit? it? How can I forget you, my angel? You know you're the only one I have in this whole world. <laughs> you're so funny. You know, you really got me thinking like, I mean, some other girl has come into your heart, taking my space and, you know, have nothing for me again. Well... No one can do that, you know that. Hmm. Really? So really? How did you find me? Uh, well, um, I asked the receptionist where you were. Plus, Pete actually told me that you were going to be staying in this hotel, so, I mean, it was really easy. I see. So, Pete told you I was staying here. How has he been to you? Has he been treating you well? Uh, yeah, Pete has been really very lovely to me. I mean, you already know that he's a very wonderful man, so... Okay, because you know you're my little baby girl and I want to make sure nothing is wrong with you. Look at who is talking, big boy. Look, I am a grown-up woman now and I can take care of myself 100%. So I'm not your little girl. Sure. Yeah. Well, you'd always be the little baby girl I used to know. <laughs> Look who's talking. <laughs> Look, I am a big girl and I can take care of myself. So what's been happening? Just me now. I mean, you know, what's been happening? I've been doing nice. No, yeah, but you look good, really. I mean, you, you said you were on a diet, didn't you? Yes. Why not? <laughs> Mommy, I'm joking. Get me a drink. Be polite. Where's the barman? Where is he? I said I'm sorry. What more do you want? Patriot, I, I need to work on this thing this night, okay? Can you at least understand that? I thought we were working on this project together. I should be asking you that, Juliet. Because all you do is sit around here and complain about virtually everything. I'm sorry about that, okay? Can I at least get another chance? You know what? I really hate it when you do things and come back and say you're sorry even though I know you're not? This time it's for real. Chris, my hair. Whatever, just, just let me be. Okay. Look, I have even started writing out my lines for the first edition. What are you talking about? You said I was going to be the anchor person for the Gigan segment, right? Yeah, I did. Basically, the ideas of the segment were all yours. Good. I even started writing out my lines. I had this idea to make the segment more fun and enjoyable. You, know, you know what, Julian? When you set your heart to it, it can be more than a pretty doll. That's insulting, David! It's not. It's a compliment. You think I'm stupid, right? You insult me and say it's a compliment. Come on, Janet. If I thought you were stupid, trust me, I won't come close to you with a 10-foot pole. David! Come on, are, are we fighting again? Okay, because if you are, I don't want a part of it. Like I said, I've got things to do. Please. I found a new life in you. I got a brand new day. What is life without love? I've been on my feet all morning. Really? I'm so sorry I started without you. I was too hungry. No, it, it's so okay. Hungry. Yeah, it's okay. I actually took a lot of time anyways. So aren't you eating? Um, uh, no. 
I'll just have a soft drink. I we have a visitor today, so I need to go on board. Really? Anyone interesting? Yes. Wow. <laughs> so I mean, what is it you are blabbing about the phone about? My divorce is complete. Oh my god, are you serious? My lawyer friend just got back last night with the news. Oh, <laughs> that's nice. Thank you. I know that's what you wanted. Honestly, I cannot believe it's finally over. I mean, after all these years. Nico, it's not really over. You know? A part of him will still be with you. I guess so. But I need to move on with my life. I mean, it's taken so much from me. I can understand. Yeah, so, I mean, what about the guy that made you leave your husband? Are you guys, like, together now? Nobody made me leave my husband. Anyway, I'm still thinking about it. Thinking? Hmm? Why are you thinking? I mean, why don't you just go ahead and date him? I mean, okay, now, why do you think he would get divorced? Is it not to officially be with someone else? Nothing. I mean everything. It's the way we're so fast to grasp at the option of divorce without even trying to make our marriages work. My husband deserted me for five years. I thought he was dead. Oh my god, I am so sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't know what I was. I know, I know you didn't know. This is not just about me, is it? No. But you know what? I can't really go into it right now. It's a long story and time. You know. But I, I will surely tell you what's this. I promise we're going to be fine. I promise. Yeah. And please not bother about me. I'll be okay. Okay? What lady? When did you start going about having an appointment with strange ladies? Well, since you started leaving this house early and coming back to take love late! Hey, 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 don't turn this on me. I'm not turning this on you! I'm not! Look, Peter, I'm so sick and I'm tired of sitting down in this house every day without doing nothing! Why didn't you say so all this while? Instead of going about and having an appointment with strange people? Because you never listen to me! And she's not a strange one! Well, whatever she is, I don't like her influence on you. Look, don't insult me, Pete. Do not insult me. Because nobody is a friend to me. And I have a mind of my own I can take for myself. Then you had better start thinking better than you've been. Like I said, Pete, do not insult me. What has come over you? When did you start bandying words with me? You're not listening to me! You're not listening! I was listening this morning and you failed to mention that you were going out with a strange lady. Just leave out of this! Leave out of this! I suppose you also want me to believe she was the one you were whispering to on the phone this morning? <laughs> oh, Pete, what are you insinuating? What do you think I'm insinuating? But whatever, you know? If you have anything whatsoever in your heart for me, why don't you just spit it out, come straight, rather than beating around the bush and killing yourself? Well, when and if I have anything to say to you, be very sure that you're going to get an earful. Do you hear me? Ah, ah, ah,
to see us now. What is life without love? Glad you me. Yeah. I thought you were lost to me forever. Peter, I was just with you a couple <laughs> of days ago. I know, I know, but um, you know, if I had my way, I would want to see you every day. <laughs> wow. Anyway, I came to talk to you about the new assistant you sent to me. Okay. Listen, we'll talk about anything you want. But for now, let me just look at you and take in your presence. <laughs> you flatter me. It's true. <laughs> anyway, how have you been? Not as good as I would love to, but I'm good. I'm excellent. Good. So... Have you given a thought to what we discussed? I have. And? Pete, I know this is... Listen, you just, just wait. I want you to know that whatever you have decided... I know. I'm a married man and I'd love to believe I'm a decent one. What I'm asking you does not come easily to me. I understand that. I've never cheated on my wife. And I don't think I'd love to start now, but from the very first time I set my eyes on you, I knew I wanted you around me. Pete, you really don't have to go through all this. I just want you to understand everything. Enough, okay? Okay. Whatever you decide is fine by me. I choose to be with you. What? I want to be with you. Are you sure about that? Yeah. Nicole, what you're offering me is what I've always desired. I want you to be very sure. I'm sure. Like you said, how do we know where this is headed if we don't at least try? So yeah, <laughs> I want to be with you. This is the best thing I've heard in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Let me start going. Hope my boy is kicking well. Can you please just stop doing that, okay? You're making a audition for her. I know. I just want to keep busy. Whatever, man. Are you sure there's nothing you've not told me? What are you talking about? I mean, why is your potential sponsor not here? How am I supposed to know that, Juliet? Why won't you? You fixed the appointments we had, didn't you? Judith, please, not now. Please, not now. Okay, okay, I'm not talking. Thanks. And why are we at here in this eating place waiting for your potential sponsor? But I told you, Juliet, this is where she wants to meet. And why is that? Juliet! Sorry, but I still don't know why. <sighs> Are you coming or not? Someone can make an observation without getting you. He's accusing me of cheating. Who's accusing me? Who else? Your husband. <laughs> why? I wish I really knew why. I mean, I just had lunch with you and that was it. Me? <laughs> Your husband doesn't know me. That's the problem. Because he doesn't know you, he feels like it's not right for me to hang out with you. That's crazy. Really crazy. You know, this world is a very funny world. I actually stumbled upon an ex. Okay. And what has that got to do with anything? Well, I think he wants to rekindle the fire. That's another crazy idea, if you ask me. I know. But that would serve my husband right for his provocative accusation. Me, you will have to face the consequences. No consequences. I mean, we're already headed towards I am separated, remember? B, look, this is serious. Stop being funny. I'm, I'm not being funny here. I mean, if 
I'm going to be accused of something that I'm not doing, then I might as well just do it and be guilty. This is not the way to be talking at this point, and you know it. Uh, Nico, I am I'm really tired of fighting with my husband. I don't know how things grew this worse between us. We hey, look, calm down, all right? I know you guys will work things out. Just calm down and take it easy. Hey? What? Evans. Oh, I need to see Evans immediately. Who's Evans? Someone special. I I'll call you, okay? Please. Please. Please, thank you for your time, but I'll call you, okay? I will explain everything to you. Please. No, I didn't even think he knows about that. About what, Bibi? What have you done? It's nothing important. Let me decide that for myself. Alright, fine. Dave is back in town and I've been meeting with him. Wait a minute. Dave! Don't tell me that Dave! Yes, the same Dave you know. So what have you been doing with Dave? He brought this proposal that I'm helping him work out. Beatrice! Don't tell me that you two have started again where you left off years ago. What are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about. Your visit to his house was not to see your friend, Peace. Peace is my friend and I did not go to his house. But Dave was your lover. Is he still your lover? Well, Evans, since he knows so much about Dave and I, then how come we do not know that whatever existed between us was in the past, even before I married Peace? I may know, but it's not me you need to convince. Does Pete know? Well, I told you, Pete doesn't even know he's in town. So, how stupid can you get? Why is it now that the both of you got back that Pete is accusing you? I told you, Dave and I are not back together! Whatever, just make sure your husband believes you. That's all. You know what, I don't even need this right now. I'll just go home and sort this out with my husband. Bibi, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be unkind to you. You're welcome. I really don't know what you're getting so upset about, Adi. It's like I did anything terrible. I can't believe you agreed to date him after everything. What is everything? The fact that he's married? I hid it from you. And I still have been hiding it if we have not found out ourselves. Adi, all that is in the past now. Besides, I had my secrets too. Remember? Yeah, but you were decent enough to tell him you were married. Okay, but now I'm divorced and nothing stops us from being together. <laughs> Ain't you forgetting something here? I'm not forgetting anything, Adi. All I know is that I deserve to be happy. And you of all people should agree with me that I deserve to be happy. I agree with that fact. But not that your happiness must come from Pete. But I want to be with Pete. <laughs> Nico, what about his wife? His wife is his business, and really, if he doesn't mind, then I don't. Very convenient. But that doesn't rid you of responsibility. I'm not one of your clients, so, Adi. You should be thankful for that little fact. But really, Nikki, I want you to be happy. But without all these complications. I know that. And I'm grateful for having a friend like you who's been with me through thick and thin. Hey, don't start with me. I'm serious, Ade. I mean, what would I have done without you? You would have survived, Nikki. You're a strong woman. I don't know. Hey, what a surprise. I wasn't expecting you. I I just really meant to talk to did something else happen this time? Yes. My husband. He's cheating. Why in the world do you think your husband is cheating on you? Think about it, Nicole. Why would he accuse me of cheating if he is not cheating? She never said he actually accused you of cheating. Yeah, but he implied it. 
I mean, he obviously didn't believe my explanations. You, you were out late the other day. I had a flat tire. And for God's sake, Nico, you were there when the mechanic bought my tires. I was there, but your husband wasn't there. And all of a sudden, you're never in the house. That's because he was never at home. All of a sudden, you're meeting up with all these new friends. I mean, come on. What new people? I've been with you most of the time. But he doesn't know that either. Hey, whose side are you on anyway? I am on your side. So stop acting like you are on his side. I know it seems like I'm on his side, but I'm just trying to protect you. Protect me. B, I know what it's like to be divorced and single, and I don't want that to happen to you. So please, try and patch things up with your husband. All right? Try and work things out. She's all right, Miss... Uh... <laughs> Barista. Barista Arabo. Pleased to meet you, Barista Arabo. And I'm pleased to meet you. I yes, understand. how may I help you? I understand you're a very busy man. So, I won't want to take much of your time. I'll appreciate that. See, my friend Nicole is bent on having a relationship with you in spite of my objections. But please understand, my objections are not personal. I happen to know you're married. And I'm not going to disrespect you by asking the nature of that relationship. But I want us to clarify some things between us. Go ahead. You see, Nicole has had her fair share of heartache, more than her fair share. And I won't want you to cause her any more heartache. Listen. I don't intend to cause your friend any more heartache than she has already had, okay? Good. Then we understand each other. I hope I've not taken much of your time. I appreciate your concern for your friend. Thank you. Um, one more thing, sir. I make a terrible enemy. I can see you make a great friend too. I'd rather be your friend. Okay. And please understand, no offense was meant. None is taken. And this stays between us.
Sorry that I shouted at you the other day. I. I'm sorry too. I. Um, I said a lot of things I shouldn't have said. They were not justified. I know. But baby, I I just want you to know that I have never cheated on you, and I do not have any intentions whatsoever on doing that. I know that, Bia, and um, I'm truly sorry I implied otherwise. Pete. Pete, what's happening to us? What's happening to us? We used to be so fond of each other. We used to be so good together. We used to be so close. Honestly, Bia, I... I guess part of it is my fault. No. I do not want to assign blames on anyone. Rather, I, I want us to just put more energy and effort in working out our relationship again. Things are a lot more complicated than I can see now. What are you talking about? Well, I'll admit that I've been distracted for a while and I apologize it's affecting our relationship. No. No, Pete, like I said, I do not want to assign blames on anyone. I know, B, I know that. Um, listen, I'll try not to let this happen again. Okay. Thanks. Thanks, too. That'll be all for now. Did you miss me much? <laughs> what do you think? I don't know. Maybe, maybe <laughs> not. <laughs> Adi, you're not dressed for work. Vicky, what are you talking about? You know I don't practice here. And besides, I'm on holiday. But you said you were going to come and help me out at the office today. I did. Well, you didn't refuse when I suggested it. But I thought you already found an assistant. Please, don't go there. So, what do you want me to do? Come to work with me now, please. But I'm neither a publisher nor a writer. And you know that, Nikki. Yeah, I know. Okay, you can help me edit all my articles. I've not had my bath and I'm not dressed yet. I'll wait. Mm, you know what? Better still, go to the office. I'll meet you up there. But you don't know the way to my office. You've never been there. Besides, we're going to ride in my new car. Hmm. Very persuasive. I'm waiting. Get up. One of these days, I'll learn to say no to you. Sweetheart, that day will never come. <laughs> I'm waiting. Oh. Yeah. See you, baby. Oh, well, you sent me, haven't you? Come on, baby. The least you could do is apologize. I waited for you for more than an hour yesterday, and you didn't care to show up. And why must everything, every single thing be about you? You stood me up for us, baby. And have you cared or show concern to ask me why that is? No. I only said you owe me an apology. Oh, well, listen to me, David. And listen to me really good. Because I owe you no apology. I mean, nothing at all. Not after the way you treated me last time. Come on, baby. You have to go back there now. For God's sake, it's all in the past, baby. The past? So, how am I sure that history would not repeat itself again? Listen, baby. This time is different. We're not even dating. Oh, yes, I know that we're not dating. 
But you know what? My integrity is a stick. What can I do with your integrity? Bruise it. Yes, bruise it. Bruise it just the way you broke my heart. Bruise it just the way you stole my idea for the TV show the other time. That's the way I expect you to bruise it. Well, I told you, Bibi, it was not my fault. The producers voted you out. Oh, yeah, right. After you told them that the original idea was from you, eh? Same this time. I'm a different person, you know. Older, wiser, and even deadlier. Can we ever leave that one incident down, baby? Mm -mm. Not where I live. Okay? You know what? I'll see you some other time. <clears throat> yeah, Lisa, forget. Because when you come visit the next time, stay downstairs. Because this is private for my husband and I alone. I don't think she's cheating on me, but I believe she's hiding something. Put someone you can trust on it, and she must not know she's been spied upon. Of course, I'm sure I won't have followed. In any case, she's not supposed to hide anything from me. What? No, thank you. I don't want your opinion as a friend. Yes, I expect to find things I might not like. Look, tell your operative to report directly to me. And keep this thing as quiet as you can. Okay? Yes, that'll be all for now. to make one more stop. Wow, I, 
I didn't think you'd make it. Well, I told you I was going to come, didn't I? All right, come okay. on. Sit down. Welcome. Um, I have the papers here already. Okay. I'm just going through before you walk in, actually. You know, how's, how's it going? Where's your girlfriend? Um, I thought you said she was going to be here. Yeah, yeah, she's, um, um, she's downstairs. She's Get, get, get a drink. Come on, Davis. You know that I cannot be in a room, especially a hotel room with you alone. I know, baby. Okay, just give me a minute. I'll get up for you. Okay. Let's do it. Oh, okay. No wonder you could never do that. Davis, not cut. Hello. You must be David's girlfriend. I'm David's girlfriend and who are you? Well, my name is Mrs. What are you doing here? Well, David invited me over to finish up. Is that why you're sitting there as if you own the place? Excuse me. David is not here. Yes, I know that David is I not here. I think you should just go and come back when David is back. What did you say? You heard me. Go. I said leave! Uh, hey, B, I... I didn't... What's... What are you up to? I'm trying so hard not to lose my patient right now. So please ask your girl for what happened. Yes. Where did she go? I don't know. She never told me where she was going to. Alright. Thanks. Please get me those documents I worked on yesterday. Alright. Excuse me. I'm in your office and you're not there. Where? Nicole Johnson. Why is everything else suddenly more important to you than your business? Okay, how is it then? You're ahead of your deadlines. Just make sure you know what you're doing. Yeah, he gave them to me. Talk to you soon, okay? It's just such a pity that my husband is not around to flood both of you good mates. Shame. Next time. Yeah. So how are you? I'm fine. How have you been yourself? Me, I've been okay, just a little here and there. Yeah. But I've been fine. I've been okay. B, I... Peter and I were good. Who? Huh? My friend. The guy, the one I told you about. Oh, silly me. I'm sorry. <laughs> the guy with the so many complications. Uh, yeah. 
So how is he doing? What's happening with He's him? Fine. Did you guys finally get fucked? Mm -hmm. We're together. Whoa. Whoa. Can you imagine? And I've been so engrossed in my marital problems, forgetting this gist. Which, by the way, I'm not going to go into right now. Come on, Nicole. Don't be like that. Don't be a spoil spot. Look, be. Okay, look, I promise. I'll give you the entire gist later. But for now, I want to ask you something. Sure, go ahead. My friend and I, my boyfriend and I, were going away for the weekend, a romantic getaway, and I was wondering if you and your husband would like to join us. Oh, that is such a good idea. But, you know, about joining you guys, I don't know, because, um, you see, my husband and I have been having um, a little freckles in our relationship, and I don't know if... And this is exactly what you need. I mean, you think about it. A weekend away, together, just the two of you. It's an opportunity to rediscover yourselves. You know, you, you amaze me, they go, look at you, you just sit down there and talk like you're some travel guide. Hey, look, I'm <laughs> serious, I'm serious. Uh, okay, I will. I'll talk to him. I promise. Cool. <laughs> I'm telling you, Dave, that's the truth. I told her you were not here and asked her to come back later. For two days. For two days, I've been calling, she wouldn't pick my call. I don't believe you! And you want to believe her? I know you, Juliet. And I know Beatrice too. Of course, you'd have said something nasty to her. What is going on between you two? Excuse me? Why else would you believe her and not me? You know, some things should be sacred even for you. What have I done now? Because you have no idea what it took me to bring her here to complete this project with me. What project? Look, Juliet. You better pray this project doesn't fall flat. Because if it does, I mean, if it does, Juliet! That is my fault, huh? <sighs> Sorted. Your divorce? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Nice. So what about his? Well, I try to pretend they don't exist. That's really a smart move, is it? Maybe not. But look, B, I, I deserve to be happy. And I'm not going to let this chance pass me by. I see. Well, I don't totally blame you, you know. Life is just too short to be full of all this rules. Yeah, but your conscience keeps pricking. Well, that's true. You know, Nico, I really, I really wonder at times if I was in this situation how I would really handle it. You'd probably do the right thing. You know, Nico, you cannot be too sure about that. You know, recently I've been thinking that women should not just sit down and wait for love to happen to them. You know, if you have the opportunity to find love, I think you should grab it. Turn it into a love of a lifetime. And, me? You know, are you trying to encourage me in a roundabout way? Um, maybe. Well, thanks. Coming from you, it means a lot. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> oh my god. Um, sorry, excuse me. Hello? Ah, oh. <laughs> yeah. Evans. How are you? Did you sort this out with Pete? I just want to make sure you're okay. You're not mad at me, are you? I'm sorry, BB, but please try to understand my point. If Pete makes you happy, then I don't want anything to spoil it for you. All right, just take things easy and I'll come to the house tonight to see you. I love you too. Bye.
so sorry. I was just going to call you. Um, yes, I'll be... I'll be getting home very late. I need to get through some work because I'll probably be traveling this weekend. I'm not sure yet, maybe a day or two. Yes, this weekend. What was it you wanted to talk about? Not important if I'm not going to be around? No, 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 don't wait up for me. I'll, I'll be, uh, I'll let myself in when I get home. All right, all right, good night. Yes, he did. He said he has um, a trip this weekend. But you know, he actually told me about his trip before I told him about mine, so... I guess it's a case of bad timing then. Yeah, I think so. It's okay. Maybe next time. Yeah, I'm really sorry. Okay, so is that why you wanted me to come here? Because you could have told me this on the phone. Come on, Nicole. Okay, first of all, I say I'm, I apologize. I'm sorry. But it's a bad thing if I missed you. No. Okay. <laughs> you know, um, um, really, I actually wanted to see you because I want to ask you for a favor. I would really appreciate it if you give me a column in your magazine. You right? Um, not, not well, but I was in the entertainment industry before I got married. So I have like big pieces of ideas. Really? Yeah. Wow. But no, no, that's if it's okay with you, you know. I would love to write about my relationship so that other people could learn from it. I think it will be educative. Do you think your husband will like this? Hmm. I don't know. But really, Nicole, my biggest problem is that I sit in this house every day doing absolutely nothing. And God knows I need that a break. Be, most people will not consider that a problem. But it is for me. You see, Nicole, I have revolved my life around my husband but so much that whenever he's not around, I feel completely lost and empty. Well, if you're sure that's what you want to do, I can find a space for you. That's what I want to do. Okay. And I really appreciate it if you do that. Hello, ladies. David, don't you have any atom of respect for your elders? Whatever be. Hi. I'm sorry about that. Nicole, this is David. David, this is Nicole. Nicole. Hi. Hi. So, how far have you gone? Yeah, I actually have to rush down this. Oh, this is too long.
I was going through the paper and this girl just come, walked come, in. Come, come on, baby. Could you just stop talking to my girlfriend and read? But you know that your stomach have dropped and I'm reading. Yeah. Hey! What are you doing here? Nicole. You two know each other? You know me? Of course, that's my husband, Pete. Your husband? Yeah. But that's my husband. This was bound to have happened. Yeah, maybe, but not with B for Christ's sake. B, C, D. What does it really matter? What are you saying? That you knew the risks from the start. No. No, not from the start. I didn't. At least from the point you found that he was married. Okay. And your point is? That it doesn't really matter whose husband Pete is. His wife was a reality we refused to face. So it's your job to point it out for me now, right? Yes. Just like it was my job to point it out from the start. Great. Exactly what I need. Just rub it in. This is exactly what I was trying to avoid. You're not my mother, Adeswa. You're not. I should be allowed to make my mistakes. Yes. But on a level playing field. An affair with a married man is definitely not that. So I planned to fall in love with a married man. So this is why all the sudden change in our relationship. Baby, please. Don't touch me. Don't. So that's so she's the reason why you prefer to stay outside your home rather than inside. But baby, that was work. Work? Yes, it was work. And to even think that I was beating my head, killing myself to figure out why and what I have done wrong to you. Look, none of this was your fault. Of course, none of this was my fault. Of course, it was not my fault. Yes, it wasn't. It was you. It was you who has no respect for the vows that you made to me. Of your altar before good and before man. Oh. But, but baby, our relationship was not sexual. Maybe it wasn't. Just maybe it wasn't. But that still doesn't give you the right to be in any emotional relationship whatsoever with any woman. It gives you no right. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, did you say fuck? God, did you say fuck? No, what you did was inexcusable, not wrong. Okay, please calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Don't I look out to you? Don't I look out? Don't I... Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god. you did this. <laughs> oh my god! No! You're gonna go away this weekend, me, huh? You're gonna go away this weekend, me? Oh, you ain't, you ain't gonna go away! You ain't gonna go! I was traveling. You were traveling, but you did not tell me that you were gonna travel with another woman! How do you know that? Oh my god! Pete! God! God, goodness! How many other lies have you told me? Just please tell me. How many other lies? Baby, I have not told you lies. Yeah, just half truths. I have not told just you Just half truths and God knows what! I'm so ashamed, I can't even stand. I can't stand this. Where are you going? Baby! How can you even imply that I wanted to date a married man? No. I only said that responsibility for your actions lies with you. Love cannot come without knowledge. You love what you know. Really? So tell me, what do I feel? I can't answer that for you. Then listen to me. Adesua, I love this man. And please don't tell me he's married. Nikki, he is married. He's out of your reach. Love happens between two people. A man and a woman. Irrespective of their marital status. Nikki, 
those things are standards. And who sets the standards? Who defines the boundaries within which I must find love? Hmm? The society, religion, morality, they set the standards. So, if the standards change, am I free to love him then? Nikki, after everything you've been through, couldn't you have found yourself a man with fewer complications? Wondering if a man will come to her. I never wanted to be that other woman. But that is what you are when you date a married man. I just want please give a girl some sympathy here, please. I'm trying, oh. girl. I'm trying. Hmm? Take it easy, girl. Everything will be fine. Please. Don't Hard to believe such a thing of beat. I lied to you. I lied to you, Evan. I'm saying that she, she was right there in our home. She was with you. You said. Yeah. I made friends with her, not knowing that she was the person that Pete was seeing. Do you want to come back with me to the States? What happens to my marriage? What will happen to my marriage? I'll just leave it for some woman to come and take over. The home I built now. So, over my dead body. So, what do you want me to do then? I don't know. It's so hard. It's so hard. You know what I give up to be, be with Peter? I know, my love, but do you want me to talk to him? Nothing. I'll just, I prefer that I just talk to him and we sort this out together. Please be careful and don't kill yourself over a cheating husband. I won't. You know you're my only sister. Ever since our parents died, you're the only one I have left in this world. Thank you so much. You've been a wonderful big brother. Thanks. You're always there for me whenever I run to you with my problems. That's what big brothers are for. Besides, I promise that I would always take care of you. And you have. You know, sometimes I wonder what I would actually do without you. We, we make each other stronger. Are you sure you don't want me to talk to Pete? No. I'm sure. I'll just go home. Just remember that whenever you have any problems, I'm always there. I will. I found a new life in you. I got a brand new day. What is life? Nikki, why are you sitting here? You'll be late for work. I'm not going. What's that supposed to mean? You heard me at this one. It means that I'm not going to work today, or tomorrow, or the day after tomorrow, or the day. In fact, I'm never going to work again. Oh, I see. <laughs> I get the idea, girl. That's a totally crazy thing to imagine. That is why please just leave me alone. You know I can't do that. What do you want from me? What, you want me to go out and face the world again as a single girl? I'm not going. What? What's wrong with being single? In an ideal society? Nothing. But in this society that sets all those restraining standards. A million things. Girl, you survived it before. So, what's new? No, what's new is that I've just had my heart broken. <laughs> You must stop being so dramatic. How do you look? I love Pete. 
And that love didn't just disappear the moment I learned he is married. Mm. Maybe. But while you're trying to mend your broken heart, your business is waiting. And girl, you have to take care of business. Yes. Come on, get up, let's go to work. Please. I'm not going. You don't have to go to work. You don't have to drive I'm not there. going. I'm not going. You will. Leave me alone. I'm not going. I didn't come back home last night. I didn't know how to face you. Um, so, how long have, I mean, how long have you guys been dating? Dating? We haven't actually been dating in that sense, you know, you know what I mean? So how long have you known her? Couple of weeks. How did you meet her? It was just a chance meeting. No, no, you don't really have to do that. It was no, entirely that's, my that's, fault. That's okay, that's okay. So I should have been where you're going. I'm going to my office. Well, not really my office. I have an appointment. A big one, huh? Very big. I have to get going. Okay, are you driving? No. Then it turns out she was actually coming to see me. The rest you know. I will not give you a divorce. I don't want a divorce. I've been thinking all through the night and um, I just want to say I'm sorry I cheated on you. Even though my relationship with Nicole was not physical, you were right. I had no right to give my emotions to another woman. I can I can stand this right now. I know. Just give us another chance, okay? It doesn't matter whose husband he is. Yeah, I guess not. So, that was his complication that would never go away. Yeah. You know what? In as much as I hate being called a complication, you're right. That would never go away. Yeah. And Nicole, I would not leave my husband for you. Neither will I share him with you. I'm not asking you to do that, but I'll never ask you to do that. So what happens to you then? But I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I'm sorry. It's okay. I know Pete is a very wonderful man. Yeah, he is. And every woman will fall for him. But luckily enough for me, he's mine. Yeah, I know. So where does that leave us? Could we still be friends? Yeah, we could try that. And I could still work for your magazine. We can try that too. So, do I have your word that you stay away from my husband? <laughs> B, you know, 
Peter and I would have to work together, right? No, of course I know that. But on a professional level, you know? Yeah, professionally. Okay. And you know that if I start working, which I can act as a liaison between the both of you. I mean, for the meantime. Yeah, why not? I mean, that could work. I mean, I guess what I'm trying to say is, um, despite all that has happened, I still like, no, I still love you to be my friend. Me too. <laughs> Honestly, I am so sorry. I'm sorry too. Thanks for understanding. It's no bother. Any friend of Nicole's is always welcome here. Thank you. May I sit? Please. So, what can I do for you this time, Barrister? We had a deal the other time. Yes. And despite everything that happened, I believe you intend to keep your word. Nicole tells me you are a decent man, and I would want to believe her. That's your choice. What do you want? I want you to give me your word again that you're going to stay away from her. <laughs> you know, I'm wondering what gives you the nerve to come here and make demands of me. No. Not demands. A request. After all, what's a request between friends? Remember? Still, it's none of your business. I know. But friends rushing where even angels fear to tread. Okay, Barista, you have my word. Thank you. It was all I wanted. You're welcome. And um, once again, sir, this stays between us. Good day, Barrister. Yeah, I wanted to give you some chance to sort this all out. So how are you? Don't worry, be um I'll get back as you when it's completed, okay? Yeah. You will have really hard on me, trust me. Come on. There's nothing to apologize. I um I, I think I deserve it, actually. You wanna make it up to me? Are you serious? I you wouldn't mind if you help me finish my work. Of course I want you to. I okay, I um I I guess I'll send the last of it to you, okay? You really want to do it? Alright, thanks a lot. Yeah, you take it easy, okay? I, I'll get back to you later. Thanks. You darling. I Yes!
I just have to let you know that in spite of everything that has happened, I still hold you in very high esteem. And my feelings for you... No, I, I don't want to hear about your feelings. Please. I'm not asking us to return to our previous relationship, whatever that was. Peter. Your wife was here to see me yesterday. And I give her my word that I'll stay away from you. I intend to do just that. Okay, I can understand that. Good. So there's really nothing to talk about. At least we can still be friends. Of course we're friends. Look. I'm not going to deny the fact that I still have feelings for you. I'm just not going to act on them anymore. saying that it's easier said than done. Well, we're still going to work together. Yeah. So let's try and retain the respect we have for each other. Do you think we can make that work? Everything is possible, Nicole. I found a new life in you I got a brand new day What is life without love? first okay you know darling I've been thinking of recent and um, mm. what did you come up with um you know I've been I've been getting so bored lately in the house you know waking up from the same bed trying to drag my feet around the house all day I think it's making me slow and all that so I was thinking that maybe I could get something doing you know something I could go out to meet come back and all that you know something like a job you're looking for a job mm -mm. not really but you just said you're looking for a job um, well it's more like I found a job you have found a job mm -hmm. Then you've been very busy. Where did you find the job? Um, Nicole has offered to give me a column in her magazine. And babes, it's going to be really fun. I'm going to be talking about relationships. And I'm going to be like, educating people. I'm going to talk about singles, married. So a lot of people can learn from it. You know, they get to learn more. Get Nicole to share stories. Nicole offered you a job? Mm, let's not put it that way. More like I'm working with her. Whatever. 
and you feel comfortable working with Nicole, knowing that she works for me? Yeah, babes, I'm okay. I'm, I'm, I'm fine with that. You sure about this? Absolutely sure. Please. Okay, I'll tell you what. Let's um, let's sleep over it, and if by tomorrow you still feel the same way, then maybe we can give it a shot. All right. Thank you very much. <laughs> I found a new life in you I got a brand new day What is life without 